Oh, my place has a lot of mesquite and uh, and tall grass that uh, I need to do something about. All this brush here and the uh, and the grass, like in some places, it was actually like as tall as I am, so it's like about six feet tall grass, and uh, I got about 15 acres, so I figure that's more than my lawnmower can handle, and even more than my uh, domestic lawnmowers can handle. So. Uh, so I bought a tractor, as you can see, I've been mowing. So this is it. Like I settled for a pretty big tractor. It's about 100 horsepower at the PTO. Is uh, what it's rated. It's a case, I think, from about 67. Uh, it's got a six-cylinder engine. Um, didn't come with the mower deck, but uh, the guy I bought this place from had a left the mower deck. It's really small compared to the tractor. So someday I'll. Uh, I'll buy something bigger, like the ones that have the wings that fold out, so their mowing surface is bigger than uh, than the width of the tractor. But uh, this thing was already here, and uh, it's paid for. Uh, price is right, you know. So, so I went ahead and hooked it up. I had to do a little bit of work to get this thing hooked up, but uh, but it's it's all there, and the uh, tractor works pretty well, like the lift and everything. I paid like twenty six hundred for it. It's pretty. Pretty good price for a, you know, fully functional tractor. No particular leaks or anything. Um, I think I'm thinking it's got a, like a bad head gasket because there's some bubbles in the coolant. But uh, you know, as long as you keep the coolant up and just you know, it doesn't seem to get hot or anything. So, so I thought well, it'll probably be good for a few years and maybe someday I'll get around to doing that. Somebody already made this big brush guard and the, this bar in front of it so you can knock down small trees and drive over them. It's got these super, like, what is a super extra woodland premium tires that they're like freaking like 20 ply or something. They're, they're, they're pretty mean, so. Which you really need around here, because like you can see, you know, you just get like that mesquite is pretty gnarly. It just pokes holes in your tires, and that's part of the reason why I want to get rid of it. It's got big thorns. It's even got a, a cab with a used to be air conditioner. I don't know. There's no compressor there, so I don't know. Somebody I guess removed that because it wasn't working, and I'm not really in any mood to deal with that. It's got dual batteries, I just have like one hooked up right now because I'm not really... It's got a preheater but I'm not using that. Uh, that's for the PTO, it doesn't stay up on its own so after a while it'll fall down so I've been holding it up with a bungee cord at least for today if I need some kind of spring on it. Um, it's got like what, four forward and a reverse and then it's got like a high and low switch here that's basically like a gear you know transfer case or whatever a guy would call it it's actually got like a, a gas pedal as and these are the brakes and uh, that's a half a clutch here and uh, this lever here you use to set the speed so if you just want to go a constant speed and not have to hold your foot on the gas pedal then you just set this and uh, that's about all there is to it and yes it does start in gear so we put it in neutral it runs nice you know having a big motor It's a lot nicer than having a small motor. It doesn't smoke or anything, it didn't. All the time that I had it, even when cold, it's just not a puff of smoke, so pretty healthy motor. It sounds, it sounds like it's got good compression and everything, so 